I'm Jordan Adams and I've tested positive for a gene that will give me early onset dementia. Other people in my family have had the gene, including my mother, my auntie, my mom's mom, as well as several of my nan's cousins. Uh, to watch somebody with dementia deteriorate is, is very difficult. Uh, it's very difficult to watch them become a person that's completely different to how you remember them, uh, especially from a, from a younger age, watching somebody like my mom, who is a vivacious, loving character, become a very cold and distant person. Uh, it was very difficult to watch. And then in the later stages, uh, when she's literally just existing, it's, it's something I can't even put into words, really. It's horrible. Some people would say that my diagnosis is a death sentence. Uh, I'd rather say that it's a license to live. Uh, I've got 20 years living with this gene before I even gain symptoms. Um, that's, that's the best I can hope for. Initially, when I found out I had the gene, I was devastated. I just remember me and Lucy crying. Um, I think it took a while for it to, to sink in, really. But since, since the diagnosis, I've been very positive and very upbeat about everything. Uh, and I think that's the only way I, I can really survive. Me and Lucy decided to have IVF to stop our children having the gene. Uh, that was the initial reason why I decided to have the test in the first place. Obviously, my mother wasn't lucky enough to have the option to have the test and find out whether she had the gene. Uh, so she couldn't stop it in its, in its tracks, whereas I've had the option to have the test and also have the IVF dream to stop this gene being passed on to, to my children, which is something that I firmly believe in. Uh, my hopes of the future are to take part in research, which hopefully will help those who are striving to, to find a cure for this disease. Hopefully we'll be closer to that. Uh, I also want to raise money for, for charities such as the Alzheimer's Society, Dementia UK. If I could give advice to anybody who is going through something similar to me, I would suggest uh, surrounding themselves with people who love them and really taking time to, to speak to others and making sure that you don't hold on to, to everything. I think it's important to talk. Uh, not only will it help you, you will help others by spreading awareness and making others feel like they can speak about things. Uh, and I, I think that's definitely the way forward.